اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم everybody welcome to today's class um, I hope you have all um, had a nice day at school and you're all well today um, just a quick reminder class etiquettes please make sure your IDs are correct and also that you have your video screens off your head should be covered everybody should have done voodoo and you should all be ready for the class Okay, so if we go straight and have our first student, please, so that we can do our initial dua. Assalamu alaikum, uh, discipline in charge, can you hear me? Sorry, I think there's a technical issue. Let me just check. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, discipline in charge, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Assalamu alaikum, sorry, I think there was something technical issue there. Um, if I could have my first student, please. Yeah, N1202. Assalamu alaikum N1202. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah, excellent. Did you have a good day in school? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so what I want you to do, would you like to read this dua by yourself or would you like me to um, read it and you can read it behind me? Read it behind. Okay. Allahumma. Allahumma. Inni. Anni. Inni. Inni. Good. As'aluka. As'aluka. Ilman. Ilman. Nafia. Nafia. Can you read the translation for me, please? Oh Allah, I ask for your knowledge. Excellent, mashallah. Well done. Good, Shabash. Okay, so let's get on with today's lesson. Right. Just want to remind everybody quickly that as you already know, and all of our day teachers have been telling you this week, next week on the 6th of November, we will be having our external examiner in. I want you all to be making sure that you're practicing really, really well. Just try your hardest. I want you to work really hard, practice all of um, the lessons we've completed so far. One way you can do that, other teachers have told you, is by recording on a mobile phone or speaking to um, or practicing with an adult, a parent, or an older sister or brother. Recording on a mobile phone is also very good. It can help you hear any mistakes you're making. You can listen back and check your timing and your pronunciation. Okay? So everybody just remember you should be practicing everything that we've learned up to now. Remember all of the lessons keep moving on from the previous lesson. Okay? So every lesson you're practicing, you're practicing previous rules as well. Okay? So, what we are going to do today is we are starting a new lesson, right? So far, in all the lessons that we've had, we have been looking at different letters, different consonants, different harakat, the strokes which make the vowel sounds, and different ways of joining letters together using a skun or a shadda to make certain words, okay? Also, how to elongate different letters, how to make different letters slightly longer. Okay, now in today's lesson, we are going to be looking at how to combine or how to link together two words. Okay, so everything we've looked at before has been focusing on single words, single letters, putting those letters together to make a word. We are now going into combining words. Okay, so if you just follow as I am reading here on our introduction, it says, Combining, wassal. Wassal means to connect or to link. There are many Quranic words which either start or end with blank letters, i.e., that is, letters without any stroke. These blank letters are dropped while connecting two words together, but maintained, that means kept, when read alone. There are two categories of such words. Firstly, blank letters between mutaharik and sakin letters, 
and secondly, blank letters between mutaharik and mushaddad letters. Okay, so basically what this means is that there are two ways of joining two words together. One way is to use a skun to join two words together and the other way is to use a shadda to join two words together. Okay, so right now at the moment we're going to focus on the first way which is written here. Firstly, blank letters between mutaharik and sakin letters. Okay, so we're just at the moment focusing on this first way, right? So let's move straight on to our exercise. And if I can have a student to assist me, as I'm explaining, I can have a student who will also read along with me. Okay, so if I could have a student unmuted, please. Yep. Yeah. A1112. Assalamu alaikum, A1112. How are you? Assalamu alaikum, A1112. Mama. Mama. I don't know. Yeah. A1112, can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Um, my brother, he went to the toilet. Okay, he's just gone to the washroom. Okay, that's fine. Is, is he back yet? Or shall we choose someone else? We can ask him later. Hello? Hello, is he back yet? No. Okay, so we'll choose him again later. Can I read it? Oh, what's your number? Um, N1217. Oh, Okay. N one two one seven. Okay, yes, you start then, um, and then um, we'll ask your other. You just wait there, um, and let me explain what we need to do, and then you can you can read along with me. Okay, so if you look at the book, it says blank letters between mutahari and sakin letters. Okay, now do you remember what mutahari means? A mutahari letter. No. No. Okay, it doesn't matter. Because basically we've told you, but we haven't written it out before. So this word here, mutaharik, is basically a letter which has a harakat, a letter which has a stroke. Okay, so that stroke could be a fatha, it could be a dhamma, it could be a kasra, yeah, or a vertical fatha, vertical dhamma, inverted kasra, uh, sorry, a vertical fatha, a vertical um, kasra, or an inverted dhamma. These are all mutaharik letters, letters which have strokes. Yeah? You understand? Yeah. So any letter which has a stroke is called a mutaharik letter. Okay? What is a sakin letter? Do you know what a sakin letter is? Is it... Um, have a guess. Is it a, like, a jazam? Excellent. Letter. Good. It's a letter which has a skun or a jazam. Okay, any sakin letter is any letter which has a skun or a jazm on top of it. That is a sakin letter. Okay, so what we are basically learning in today's lesson is how we need to ignore some letters in order to join the mutaharik letter, the letter which has a stroke, to the sakin letter, the letter which has a skun or a jazm. Okay, so in this first example, we have two words. Okay. Now, when you're seeing this all together, you won't, we don't realize these are two words because obviously this, this is Arabic and we don't necessarily know Arabic as our mother's tongue. Okay, but these are two words. And if we look here, we can see these two words separately, right? So the first word here is Qala. Qala. Excellent. And the second word here is Alhamdu. Alhamdu. Excellent. Well done. Now, we need to join these two words together and drop these blank letters. So basically, we are not going to pronounce these blank letters here, okay, in the middle. So we will have Excellent, well done, brilliant, mashallah. Okay, so that is the way we are joining these two words together. We're dropping the blank letters in the middle, which don't have any strokes, any harakat. We're not pronouncing them, we're just ignoring them. Okay, and we're joining the, let the last letter with a stroke to 
to the letter with the sukun or jazm, right? And underneath okay. here, it's broken down for you, right? So in this example here, okay, again, we have blank letters, right? There is a blank letter here, right? So we're not going to pronounce yeah. that, yeah? So what, how will we pronounce these letters then? What? Excellent, what? And these ones? Hulu. Excellent. And we've got it written here under here as well. Yeah. Wadhulu. Excellent. And these letters here again is a different word. Albaba. Albaba. Excellent. Well done. Right? So those are the two separate words. But we're going to join them by ignoring these letters in the middle. Right? So we're going to say Wadhululbaba. Yeah, you get it? You understand? Yeah. Brilliant. So in this one, which two letters are we not going to pronounce in this example here? The olive without a... Um... A stroke. Excellent. Good. Yeah. And which other letter? Can you see another and letter? The y. Excellent. So these two letters here, we are not going to pronounce. We're going to go straight from this letter... To this letter here. Now, what's on to the top of this alarm here? What does it look like? A circle. Excellent, good. Basically, it looks like a circle. This is another way to write a sukun or a jazm. So you need to recognize that sometimes a jazm is written like this, right? And sometimes it's written like this little circle. It's the same thing. A sukun or a jazm can be written as a circle or it can be written as a little line like that okay so we're going to we're going to join this far all the way over to this alarm here right so do you want to have a go yeah excellent beautiful fill are the fill are the mashallah excellent so i think you're understanding the way that we need to join two words together basically we are ignoring the blank letters between oh sorry between the muttaharik letter, the letter with a stroke, and the sakin letter, the letter with a sukun or a jazan. Okay? Yeah. Excellent. Mashallah, that was um, N1217? Yeah. Andy? G, G? My brother's back. Okay. So if you now pass it on to your brother, I can do a second line now with your brother, inshallah. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Did you understand? Did you were you back in time to hear um, what we are doing today? Yes. Excellent, mashallah. So on this second line here, right, we have these two words which we're going to join together by ignoring all these blank letters. Okay. So which are the blank letters in this example? The two olives and a well. Beautiful. Well done. What I want you to do is just read this first section for me. Okay, and then we will join it all together. Let's start here. Yablu. So once more. Yablu. Yablu. And what's this letter here? Ru. Ru. Yablu. Yablu. Excellent. Now we're going to join the ru to the which letter? The la. Excellent. So do you want to carry on? Ghul. Ghul. Excellent. Yablu. Ghul. Excellent. And the last three letters? Huluma. Beautiful. Now I want you to take a nice deep breath and I want you to try and say the whole of those two words together. Okay. It's okay. Take it slowly. Take it slowly once more. Huluma. Beautiful. Well done. That was really nice. You managed to join all the letters together and your timing was very good as well, mashallah. What we're going to do is do it once with me. Okay? Beautiful, well done. Let's try to do it once more all in flow. Take a deep breath and try to do it all in the same breaths. Beautiful, well done. 
Which letters are we going to not pronounce? Which letters are we going to drop in this second example? The um, ya and the malif. Excellent. So this ya and this alif here. Okay. So let's let's do this first bit. Alati. Uh, Allah. Allah. Sorry, you have to harden the lamb because there's a shad on it. Allah. Allah this. Allah this. Okay, because you're joining this letter here all the way over to this sucking yes, seen suck in here. Okay? Allah this. Allah this. Tawqada. Tawqada. Do you want to try it all together? Allah this. Tawqada. Allah this. Tawqada. Once more. Alladis Taukata Alladis Taukada Alladis Taukada Taukada Make sure this path is a slightly rounded sound, okay? Kada Kada Beautiful, well done. We'll try it once more. Let me just raise that. Beautiful. Now, in this example, which letters are we not going to pronounce? The two alif. Again, excellent. Well done. So we're joining this letter here to this second letter here. Okay? So, do you want to have a go? Yes. Okay, off you go. Gidis. How is that? This is which letter is this? Fa. Excellent. Fa and then? E. Fa e. This. Thus. 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 Because it's the fatha. Fa e thus. Fa e thus. Fa e thus. Next one. Dal. Right, what letter is this? Alif. And it has what on top? A jazam. Good, a spoon. Excellent. So we did that yesterday in yesterday's class. So do you remember how to pronounce a letter when you have to join the, the Alif, Sakin, Hamza Sakin, to the letter before? What kind of sound do you need to make? Do you remember? Da. Da. Well done. Slight jerking sound. Da. Da. Excellent. So we've got fa i da sta. Fa i da sta. Zaluka. Excellent. Beautiful. That was lovely timing there with your vowel mother as well. So that was really, really nice, mashallah. Well done. Should we do that whole, that whole, those whole words once more? Give this. Fa e thus. Fa e this. Fa e thus. Da. Da nu nu ka. Beautiful. Well done. It was really good. You did your timing of your letters was really nice. I know these are really, really long sections that we're reading now. Joining two, maybe three words together. So you did really well. You just need to keep practicing. But your pronunciation was very nice of all of your letters and your timing was very good as well. So, mashallah, well done. That was very, very nice to both of you. Jazakumullah to both of you. If we could have our um, please. Yep. Yeah. The next one will be N1214. Assalamu alaikum, N1214. Walaikum Aslam. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah, excellent. And do you understand everything we're doing? Yes. Yeah, we're just basically ignoring the blank letters in order to join a letter with a haraka, yeah, mutaharik letter to a letter with a skun, a sakin letter. Yeah? So do you want to have a go at this one here? You can break it down, break down the letters slowly if you want to, or you can just have a go going all the way along, however you feel more comfortable. Allah zirtasa 
Baza. Beautiful. Very nice. That was an excellent first attempt. Okay. Do it once more. Try to be, look at where you need to harden the letter, but not elongate the letter. Okay. So this, you had alam mushadad here. You need to harden it, but don't make it longer. All right. So try once more. Allazir taza. Beautiful. Allazir taza. Allazir taza. Tadwa. Slightly round mouth. Tadwa. Beautiful. Well done. That was very nicely read, mashallah. Okay, next one. Bihadil til um Very nice, mashallah. Excellent. First attempt was very, very good. Can we try once more? Bihadil um Beautiful, well done. You elongated that ha love in a very nice way, just for two seconds. Om was very nice. You made the ayn sound very nicely there. And you remembered to ignore the letters which don't have any strokes on them. So that was really nice, mashallah. And this one? Ra'avul ayati. Beautiful, very nice. Your elongated letters, they were really good. Very good timing there. And your pronunciation of all the letters was very nice. Once more, please. Ra'avul ayati. Very nice, mashallah. When you say this ra, are you rounding your mouth a little bit? Are you making your mouth a little bit round? Ra. No. Yeah? Yeah, because sometimes we can't, we can't hear all of the sounds over the computer. So I just want to make sure that when you say that ra, remember it's a rounding of the mouth. So we say ra. Okay, so very nice, Mashallah. That was beautifully read. Excellent. Um, Jazakamullah N1214, that was beautifully read. So keep practicing. Your, your flow was very nice. Your elongated letters were very nice as well. Just keep practicing because obviously you've got your exam next week. So just keep practicing all of those different rules as well. Mashallah, excellent. Okay, can we have our next student, please? Yes. Next student is A1125. Assalamualaikum A1125. How are you today? Good, sorry. G? How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm very well. Thank you for asking. And how are you today? Good. Excellent, mashallah. You had a good day in school? Yes. You feeling well? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Are you quite close to the computer because your voice is a little bit quiet? Are you close enough? Yeah. Excellent, mashallah. Okay, now we're going to do this example here. Um, I just want to remind everybody in the class, please make sure your videos are off. If they are on unnecessarily, our discipline in charge will remove you from the lesson and put you back in the waiting room. Okay, so please make sure your videos are off. Jazakumullah. Okay, so we've got this example here. Okay, now there's one letter here, which you may not have seen before, and I just want to bring everybody's attention to it so it makes it easier for everyone, right? So we've got this letter here, okay? What is this letter? Can you tell me? Wow. Wow. And what is the letter above this? Ayn. This one here? Looks a little bit like an Ayn, but it's not an Ayn. Mm. Do you remember what this letter is? No. This is a Hamza. Okay, and if everybody remember, Hamza makes the same sound as an alif. Okay, so it's a oo sound. Whenever you see a Hamza on top of a vowel or on top of a ya, because it's sometimes on top of a ya, you only pronounce the Hamza, not the vowel or the ya. Okay, so in this case, this would be oo. Okay? You have to look at the vowel or the ya like a chair. The Hamza is literally just sitting on top of the chair. Only the Hamza will speak, the chair will not speak, right? So in this example here, you need to pronounce the, the harakat or the stroke, which is on top of the Hamza, but you do not need to pronounce the wow. Okay, does that make that easier? Yeah. Excellent, good. So, do you want to have a go at this? Yeah. Okay, off you go then. You're the Excellent. Yabada'u. Yabada'u. Excellent. Now I want you to join this 
ooh to this lamb stuck in here? How would you do that? Mm. Which letters do we need to ignore here? Both of the leaves. Both of the alifs, excellent. So we're not going to pronounce either of those alifs. We're going to go straight from this Hamza all the way to the Lam. Do you want to have a go? Beautiful, excellent, excellent attempt, mashallah. You did really well. You tried really hard. You did it all by yourself. So that was really good. Okay, I'm going to break it down with you now. Okay. Yabda'u. Yabda'u. Yabda'ul Yabda'ul Khalqa Khalqa Excellent Yabda'ul Khalqa Yabda'ul Khalqa Yabda'ul Khalqa Yabda'ul Khalqa Beautiful, well done all you need to do is just practice a little bit more. I know this is hard because there's two words you're joining together, but if you can practice this whole thing together and saying it all in flow, that will make it really, really easy for you and it will sound really beautiful, inshallah. Okay, should we go on to the next one? Okay, just do these two letters here. Remember, we're only pronouncing the letters which have harakat. We're only pronouncing the letters which have strokes. So we're not going to pronounce this vowel here because it doesn't have any stroke on it. And we're not going to pronounce this ya here and we're not going to pronounce this alif here. Okay, these two letters here and this letter here. We're not going to pronounce them. We're just going to ignore them completely. All right, so what are these first two letters? Li'u. Excellent, li'u. And then we're going to join this letter to this letter. What's this letter here? Li. Good, and join it to this letter here. L lil. Lil, excellent, well done. Li u lil. Li u lil. Al babi. Al babi. Beautiful, once more. Li u lil. Al babi. Beautiful, that was really good and hemped. Well done. Once more. Li u lil al babi. Li u lil al babi. 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 Beautiful, well done. Excellent. And last one. Sorry, I can't hear you. Just speak up a little bit. Excellent. Qalu. And then we're ignoring these three letters here. We're not going to pronounce those. And we're going to join this lam with the dhamma on it all the way over to this sakin letter. What's this letter here? Do you remember what this letter is? Dal. Dal. Excellent. Beautiful. Well done. So ju just do this letter and join this lam to this dal. One small bit louder. I can't, I can't hear you. Excellent. Qaludu. 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 Excellent. And how will you say these two letters here? Once more. Beautiful. You elongated that because there's a lift mother there. Well done. So this will be Qaludu. Qaludu. Beautiful, well done. This this is not easy because you you know all the rules, and I can say here that you know all the rules. Your timing is very nice with your elongation, but it's just lots and lots of words or letters together, which sometimes gets a little bit confusing. But don't worry, mashallah, you tried really hard. You did really nicely. Just keep practicing this exercise so that you get used to reading more letters together. Okay. Break them up if you need to, like we did. Qalu, and then Qalud, and then Qaludu, Qaludu lana. Okay, and then slowly, slowly, your speed will increase as well, inshallah. Ta okay, so just keep, keep practicing this exercise. Okay, mashallah, well done. Thank you very much. Jazakumullah.
A double one two five. Okay, Allah Hafiz. Right, excellent, mashallah. So all of you seem to be understanding the way that we need to join um, the mutaharik letter, the letter with a stroke, to the sakin letter, the letter with the skun or the jazm. Okay? And that is the way to join two words together. Right? So we now have to go on to our second uh, section, which was written here. Secondly, okay, blank letters between mutaharik and mushaddad letters will also be dropped when joining two words together. Okay, so you've got the idea that you need to ignore all these blank letters. Sometimes it's because you need to join the mutaharik letter to the sakin letter. And sometimes, we go on to our second section, it's because you need to join the mutaharik letter to our mushaddad letter, our letter with a shadda. Okay, so if we can have um, another student on the line, please. Yep, A1131. Assalamu alaikum, A1131. How are you today? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah, excellent. So you're understanding what we need to do? Yes. Excellent. So could you remind me what a mutaharik letter is then, please? Um, a mutaharik letter is a letter that has a stroke on it. Excellent, beautiful. And what is a mushaddad letter? And a... What does the mushaddad letter have to have on top of it? Oh, a W shape. A W shape, excellent. That W shape is called a shadda. Okay, brilliant. So it's a letter with a stroke, which you are joining to a letter with a shadda, that little tiny W shape. Okay, a mushaddad letter. And remember, when we join to a mushaddad letter, we need to harden that letter, okay, and make it stronger and harder. Okay, so it's the same principle. We're ignoring the blank letters in this case. Which are the blank letters? The alif and the lam. Excellent. So there's an alif, there's a lam, an alif and an alif. There's two alifs and a lam. Okay. We need to ignore all of those and move straight on to joining this noon to this lam shadad. Yeah. So do you want to have a go? Anallahu. Okay. Once more. Anallahu. Okay. Your elongation was nice. Um, can you just say these two letters for me? Anna. Okay, what? Well, you have to make the Anna. letter Anna. Anna. Once more. Excellent, good. Because it sounded a little bit like you were saying Anna. So you just need to make sure that you make those letters a separate sound. So can you repeat that once more? Anallahu. Beautiful. Anallahu. Anallahu. Excellent, well done. And it's written underneath here, all joined together without any of the blank letters in the middle, so we know exactly how to pronounce it. Anallahu. Anallahu. Excellent. Right, in this one, there's a few more blank letters. Which letters are we not going to be pronouncing? The, the two olives and the lam. And anything else? And the wall. Excellent. So it's these four letters here. We're not going to. We're not going to pronounce them. We're just going to ignore them. Okay. Do you want to start here? Amilu salihati. Excellent. Beautiful. Once more. Make sure we round in this letter slightly. Remember, these one. This is one of those serious round letters. So we don't say sa. Yeah, because that would be seen. We have to say sa. Right. So once more. Amil amilu salihati. Beautiful, well done. Your elongation was really nice there. Well done, excellent. Next one. Your pronunciation was fine. Your um, your joining of your strokes was fine. Um, this letter, I think you got a little bit confused. Do you know what letter this is? Uh huh. It looks like a heart. Mm. It's actually a meme, yeah. So just try once more and make this a mitta. Yeah? Beautiful, well done. Again, you remember to elongate because that's the vow mother there. Beautiful, 
Beautiful. Well done. Excellent. Um, A1131. That was really nice, Mashala. Keep practicing for your test next week, but you did really well. Your timing's very good. Your elongation was very good, and your joining was very nice as well, Mashallah. Excellent. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Jazakillah. Okay. So could we have our next student, please? Yep. N1203. Assalamu alaikum and one two zero three. How are you today? Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Are you understanding the lesson? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Well done. Right. So, do you want to go straight on and start doing the second line with me? Yes. Excellent. Off you go. La kulla zina. Beautiful. Once more. La kulla zina. Excellent. Very nice. You joined really nicely. You elongated with this young mother very nicely as well. Your timing was really good. La kulla zina. La kulla zina. Excellent. Well done. When you said this qaf, did you round on your mouth or did you have a, a soft smiley face? I rounded my mouth. Excellent. Well done. Just to make sure, like I said, sometimes in the sound, we can't hear whether you're rounding your mouth or not. So that's really good because this is a serious round mouth letter. Okay, heavy letter. Next one. Beautiful. Well done. Very nice again. Um, again, remember with the sword, remember it's not sa, it's so. Okay. So you just need to round in your mouth a little bit when saying that letter. Your timing was beautiful, though. So, so once more for me. Very nice. Much better, mashallah. Beautiful, beautifully read. Next one. Very nice again. Excellent. You hardened the letters really well, the mushaddad letter there. And your elongation for your elongated alif here and kaf here was very nice as well, mashallah. Excellent. So just keep practicing on your elongation. Keep practicing on your joining, making sure you're hardening the letters when you have a mushaddad letter. And you'll be, inshallah, re doing really well, inshallah, next week. Auntie. G. Auntie. Yes. Um, for the last few weeks, um, I've gotten chosen, but my computer's mic was a... Um, um, it doesn't it doesn't work so um that's why i couldn't unmute myself oh okay okay i'll make a note of it but it's okay now is it yes okay excellent so at least alhamdulillah you've been chosen today and inshallah now we'll, we'll note that your um it was just your mic that was not working jazakumullah thank you very much for letting me know because sometimes we do choose students and then we have to write down their number that they didn't respond so if we know that things like mics aren't working if parents can just even send in an email that's really good for us because it means all the teachers know that there's an issue with the mic and it's not the student that's not responding so jazakallah for letting me know thank you so much okay Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. next student please next student is um I tried to say something wrong with my list of participants. Shall I? Shall I choose? Uh, it's it's came back. A one one three four. Assalamu alaikum. A one one three four. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Betty? I'm fine. Excellent. Are you understanding the lesson? Okay. Yes. Excellent, mashallah. So you understand that we need to. Ignore and drop all the blank letters and just join our mutaharik letter, a letter with a stroke, to our mushaddad letter, a letter with a shadda. Yeah? Yes. So are you ready to go? Yes. Excellent. So do you want to start here? No. So, so the... So the... Beautiful, excellent. You worked it all out by yourself. You did each letter and you figured out that you needed to where you needed to join and where you needed to harden. So it was na na suddikra 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 ra. Make sure you round in your mouth slightly on this ra. Okay? Ra ra Beautiful. Na suddikra. Na suddikra. 
Beautiful. Well done. Excellent. Next one. Break it down as you need to. Kaza Burutula. Beautiful. Well done. You broke that down really nicely. Do you want to try and say it a little bit more flow now? Kaza Burutula. Beautiful. Well done. Kaza. Kaza Kaza Sula Sula Excellent. See, you made that much faster the last time. So well done. Excellent. And sometimes when there are lots of letters in between the Mutaharik letter and the Mushaddad letter, it, it can get confusing because you have to concentrate on which letters you need to join. Okay, so that you did really well, mashallah. Next one. The ka rula ha. Excellent. Well done. Once more. The ku ka the ka rula rula ha. You are trying really hard, Mashallah. I can hear that you're really trying to make sure you elongate that letter there and that you join very well here. That was really nice. Let's try to do it a little bit more in flow. So we have the, 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 Okay, listen to me, listen to me once. Listen to me once and then follow, okay? The, 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 Excellent. Once more. The. The. Karulaha. Karulaha. Beautiful. The Karulaha. The Karulaha. Excellent. Well done, Mashallah. You see, as you break it down and you practice little bits by, by sections, it makes it easier when you want to put it all together and make it a little bit more flowing, a little bit faster. That was really nice, Mashallah, A 134 Keep, keep practicing, especially this exercise here, because the more you practice this and the faster and the more flow you get in this, the easier it will be when you have to join maybe more words or say a full sentence together. So keep practicing these, okay? You really tried hard with your timing. With your um, with your alam mushadad with this vertical fatta here, that was really nice. Again, like I said, when you're practicing, make sure somebody listens to you so they can hear your timing as well, and that will help you to make sure that your timing is for two seconds. It doesn't go too long and it's not too short. Okay, mashallah, well done, excellent. Jazakumullah, jazakallah, Allah Hafiz. Okay, and can we have another student, please? Yep, in one two two six. Assalamu alaikum in 1226. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Excellent. You're understanding the lesson okay? Yes. Excellent. So we know that we don't need to say any of the blank letters. We just need to drop them. Yes? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Now, in this example here, we have a couple of new signs. Okay. Don't worry about them. Have you seen these before ever? Yes. Yes, you have, so you may know about them. Let me just explain for everybody else. We are going to do this um, exercise or this lesson in next week, probably. So don't worry about it too much, but just listen very carefully for the moment that when you have this, this sort of curved line here on top of a letter, it means you need to elongate that letter for about four seconds. Okay, so that's all you need to know about that for the moment. You just need to elongate that letter for about four seconds. So could you just do these two letters for me so we can hear how you elongate that? Asa. Okay, a little bit longer. Asa. Asa. Beautiful. Well done. Okay. And we have another one here. Okay. So again, we would do that for about four seconds. Su. Su. Excellent. Well done. So if we try this and then I'll read it along with you afterwards. Okay. Asa. Asa. Excellent, beautiful, well done, excellent, very, very nice. Asa usu a Asa usu a 
Very nice, mashallah. Well done. That was very, very nicely read. Beautiful elongation there. Well done. Right, next one. Very nice, mashallah. That was beautiful. You had two mashadad letters there and a mashadad letter joining to the sakin letter, which is quite complicated. So that was really, really nice. Well done. Make sure with this qaf, um, how you are pronouncing it. Can you just say this for me a second? Uh, Excellent. Oh, so you need to make sure your mouth is round and not soft. This, remember, is ka and this is qa. Okay, so once more for me, please. Uh, Excellent. Well done. Uh, Beautiful. Well done. Okay. La Excellent, well done. Once more. Lahad Ulisarha. Beautiful. Lahad. Lahad. Hulisarha. Hulisarha. Beautiful. Lahad Hulisarha. Lahad Hulisarha. Beautiful. Well done. I can tell, mashallah, you guys have been practicing really, really well. And that was very, very nicely read. There were lots of letters there. There were lots of blank letters, which we had to ignore as well. So that was really good, mashallah. Well done. Um, so just keep practicing, keep practicing your timings and your letter pronunciation to make sure that you get your thick letters, your, your serious letters correctly pronounced as well. Mashallah, excellent. Well done, N2126. Just keep practicing over the weekend as well for your test on exam on Monday. Okay? Excellent. Mashallah. Allah Hafiz. Jazakumullah. Excellent. So basically today we have looked over these two different ways to join letters together. Okay? And I want you for your homework, please, to practice these two exercises tonight or tomorrow if possible, exercise 18.1 and exercise 18.2. You're practicing all your rules in here. So it's a really good idea to know these really, really well. Okay, so keep practicing these and practicing the rest of your lessons for your exam as well. Okay, so inshallah on the sixth, when you have your exam, you will be so good at all of these and you'll be in flow really nicely. Make sure your elongated letters are uh, done properly. Make sure you're, you're hardening your mashadad letters properly. And you're joining your letters beautifully. And inshallah, you all do really well. Okay. So what I wanted to do quickly for you today is just show you something. Right. Now, over here, we have a surah from the Holy Quran. Right. If I could have um, a student, please. Could I have a student, please? Yeah, sorry, it took a That's while okay. to unmute. Um, it will be in one two zero three. Assalamualaikum, in one two zero three. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I think we've already had you. Have we already had you today? Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll listen to you again, inshallah, next, another time. We'll have another student for the moment. Okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. A1120. Assalamu alaikum, A1120. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Did you understand today's lesson? Yes. Excellent, mashallah. Okay, so it wasn't, it's not a difficult lesson, it's just something everybody has to be mindful of, is to ignore the blank letters and go join straight on from our mutaharik letters to our sakin letters or to our mashadad letters. Okay, so what we have in front of us here is a surah from the Holy Quran. Okay, now this is the first surah of the Holy Quran. Um, A1120, do you know what surah that is? Um, no. No, don't worry. But it may, you may know it when I, when I tell you it's surah Fatiha. Have you heard of surah Fatiha? Um, yeah. Excellent, mashallah. So this is the first surah of the Holy Quran. Okay, so if you look very carefully at the text here, it's very similar to what we have been learning. Right? But we don't have any of the colored letters to help us. But what I have done for today's lesson is I have highlighted the blank letters. Okay, so we know what we are not going to pronounce. And the reason I'm showing you all today this is so that you actually realize that everything that we are reading 
is really exactly what it would be like if we were reading the Holy Quran. Okay, so that when you can visualize this surah of the Holy Quran in front of you, it's not so scary because you can see that a lot of the rules we already know. Okay, so if we start with this one here, could you read this first line, first section for me up to here? A double one two zero, can you hear me? Um, yeah. Yes. Could you read this this first section here, where my hand is? Uh, Bismillah. Bismillah. Good. So you see, you've joined this meme straight to the lam, and you've ignored both of those letters because you know it so well. You know to do that. Right? So you can see yes. how it's put together. Bismillah. Yeah? Okay, next. Bismillah rahman rahim Excellent. Well done. So although we know how to say Bismillah, when we see it in front of us, now we can actually read it as well because we've learned all of these rules now. Okay, so we've got Bismillah rahman rahim Bismillah rahim Excellent, well done. And what we're also seeing here is we've got lots of different words which we're joining together. Okay, we know that these are different words because we know Surah Fatiha, right? So we're joining all these words together and we're ignoring all of these blank letters. Okay, um, next line. Do you want to read this for me? Just Alhamdulillah. 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 Alhamdu. Excellent. Alhamdu. Next word. Allahi. Lillahi. Lillahi. Remember, this is vertical fatta here. So we say Lillahi. Lillahi. Okay, good. Excellent. Next one. Rabbil Alameen. Excellent. Well done. We haven't done how to stop. But because we already, you already know Surah Fatih, you know that you're going to stop there. Okay? Rabbil Alameen. Rabbil Alameen. Excellent. Well done. So I hope you're all recognizing where we're ignoring or dropping all of these blank letters that don't have any strokes on them, any harakat on them. Okay? Excellent. Well done. If I could have another student, please. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, A1120. Yeah. Allah Hafiz. Okay, the next student is A1125. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as A1125. How are you? Oh, I've had you already. Yes, I have yeah. had you already. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if we could have another student, please. Yeah. A1121, I don't think we had him. A1121. Assalamu alaikum A1121, how are you? Fine, alhamdulillah, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. So, do you, you understood what we're doing today? Yes. Excellent, and you understand that this is Surah Fatih and how much you can already read of this? Yes. Excellent, well done. So, can we try and read this bit? This will be... Ar, you have to join this alif to this alam, this ra, okay? Ar Rahman Rahim. Excellent, well done. Ar Rahman Rahim. Ar Rahman Rahim. Excellent. Next one. Maliki Yomidin. Beautiful, well done. Maliki. Remember, we've got our, our elongated letter there. You said that very nice. Maliki Yo. We've learned that as well. Middin. Okay. We know we need to ignore these blank letters here and go from this meme all the way to the dal. Middin. So once more. Maliki. Maliki. Beautiful. Well done. Do you want to carry on? Excellent. Well done. Iyaka na'budu. Iyaka na'budu. Na'ab. Remember, we have to join this to this ayn. It's not an alif, so we're not going to make a jerk sound. It's not going to be na. It's going to be na'ab. Na'budu. Wa iyaka. Wa iyaka 
Stein. Excellent. Well done, mashallah. That was beautifully recited. Thank you, Abe. Double one, two, one. Well done, mashallah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. Can I have one more student, please? Yep. And one, two, one, five. Mm. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And one, two, one, five. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Do you understand what we're doing? Yes. Yeah, so most of these rules we already know, and today you're focusing on how to ignore these blank letters, okay? So should we start from here? Okay. No, you can stop here, okay? Ehdi. Ehdi. Nasiratal. Nasiratal. Mustaqim. Mustaqim. Once more. Ehdina Sirat al Mustaqeen. Good. Sirat al Lazina. Sirat al Lazina. Sirat al Lazina. Good. An Amta Alayhim. 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 Good. Gairin. Gairil. Mahd. Dubi. Excellent. You, you elongated there very nicely. Mahdubi. Mahdubi. Alayhim. Wallal. Wallazza. Lean. Good try. Excellent. But remember with these, we have to join this to this. So it would be Wallazza. Lean. Wallazza. Lean. Beautiful. Waladwalin. Waladwalin. Excellent. Well done. So, everybody, mashallah, jazakumullah, that was very nicely read. Make sure, because this is a surah that we all know, and we're used to reading it and reciting it often, sometimes we don't elongate things as we should, or we don't say the letter sounds properly because we're not used to saying them properly. So it's really good to keep practicing this. But as you can see from today's lesson, that there are all of the rules that you already know. So mashallah, most of you are already able to read sections of the Holy Quran because we've learned so many rules already, mashallah. So I just wanted to highlight this to you today so that you, you feel good, you know that you can do this and you keep trying and mashallah you keep getting blessings because you're trying so hard to learn the holy quran and to recite it correctly so mashallah excellent well done so today's lesson we've gone through how to ignore blank letters when joining to a mutaharik letter sorry when joining a mutaharik letter to a sakin letter a letter with a skun or a jazm or ignoring the blank letters when joining a mataharic letter to a mashadad letter, a letter with a shadda. Okay? And just you just need to ignore them and not pronounce them. Right? So keep revising for your test and keep um, and practice these two exercises for your homework today. And if I could have a final student to just do our last dua. Yep. It's A1115. Assalamu alaikum A1115. How are you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Would you like to read this or you want to read behind me? I would like to read this. Excellent. Off you go. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al azim. Beautiful. And the translation? Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. Mashallah. Jazakumullah to everybody. Thank you so much for attending the class. Uh, best of luck with your homework and inshallah we will see you again all soon. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.